PK in the universe, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm here to talk about Evercade. More specifically, four things I would like to see happen with Evercade in 2024. It's been a pretty exciting year so far. There's been a lot of really great announcements. I just got the two most recent carts, um, Pico Interactive Arcade one and Sydney Hunter collection. So pretty cool so far. Don't have any complaints yet. Uh, a lot of great games on these. And uh, yeah, so I want to talk about though, you know, like I feel like most of the big announcements for the most part are have been revealed. So I want to talk about what I would like to see in 2024. So here we go. The thing with the Evercade EXP, the one big selling point of it is Tate mode. But I feel like us people who don't have an Evercade EXP and have maybe the, you know, the Evercade VS, are like kind of left out. So it's like, maybe I don't feel so incentivized to get the arcade collections because I can't take advantage of that Tate mode. And some people might be like, what's the big deal, PK? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna turn your monitor sideways? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Here's the thing, folks. You may not be aware of this, but there are actual monitors that you can actually turn vertically. So yeah, I think there is an audience for Tate mode with the Evercade VS audience because that might be a great way to play these arcade games and it might incentivize me to get more of these Evercade arcade collections. So yeah, that's what I would like to see in 2024. Up next, I'd like to see more in-house developed games, you know. Obviously the Duke Nukem remasters, I guess were remastered in-house at Blaze. So I think that's pretty darn cool. That's awesome. That's a great step in the right direction. But I'd also really love to see, you know, a Evercade mascot like Katie the Evercade. Why can't Katie the Evercade have their own Game Boy game? You know, I mean, Game Boy games, there's a lot of people making Game Boy games in GB Studio. I've dabbled in it. I'm still kind of dabbling in it a little bit, still trying to figure out what I want to do exactly. But who knows? I mean, I think there's definitely a plenty of people who are capable of making a game like that. So it'd be great to see a Katie the Evercade game, you know, or some kind of in-house developed game, you know, for Evercade would be really great to see. At the end of the day, what Evercade needs is exclusives because this is going to become and continue to be an ongoing problem for the collecting aspect of Evercade. You know, you had the Technos collection, one obviously, not the arcade version, but the other one, obviously went out of print. And of course now people are spending like a hundred bucks on it, you know, which is just crazy. And then there's this limited edition game for that, uh, the newest Evercade single cart. Guess what? That's gonna start going for a lot of money when people finally get it, because you know people are going to scalp it, you know, cause it's gonna be so rare. People are gonna have a really hard time as it is getting a full Evercade set. And the more games you have that can have a license expire, the more likely are you are to see more of that and have, you know, the frustrated collector. But at this point, I don't know. I really don't know in that respect. So for me personally, yeah, I'm not going for a complete set and I don't plan to, but I can understand the perspective of that complete collector. So having more games that you know you're not gonna lose the license to, I think personally is a really good thing and a really good strategy. And I hope to see Blaze do more of that, so. Up next, I'd like to see more Sega Master System games. At the time of this recording, there are a total of three Master System games on Evercade. Of course, there's a, the Sydney Hunter collection has a Master System Sydney Hunter game, which is Sydney Hunter and the Sacred Tribe. And then of course you have the Bitmap Brothers collection. I think it's Speedball 2 is the Master System game. Yeah, and this, and of course there's Gotris, which is a hidden game on the Evercade. And you just have to put in a code on your Evercade VS and the EXP and you get that game. A while back I did a video on Master System games I'd like to see on the Evercade. So, and Sydney Hunter was one of those games that actually made it on, so that's pretty fantastic. So I thought, well, I'm here, why not ask for more? You know, it'd be great to see more Master System games. Because again, that Master System was really popular in Europe, but really wasn't so popular around here. So I think this is a great way for more people to discover Master System games. So yeah, love to see more of that. I would like to see wireless controllers. This is my current controller. I've had it for over a year. Guess what, folks? Don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, yeah, this thing's already, <laughs> I'm gonna need to put some electrical tape around it. 
And I get that there's other wireless controller options I can go out there, but it would be great to see Blaze actually bring us a wireless controller that's actually designed for the system that they are selling, rather than me having to use third-party controllers to play on Evercade. I don't mind it. It's not like I don't have the controllers, but it'd be really great if there were really cool controllers. You know, something maybe, you know, that pays homage to other consoles maybe, or some kind of special edition ones that are based on specific, you know, characters from games that are on Evercade. That would be fantastic. Maybe a Katie the Evercade controller. I'd like to see a cool wireless special controller just for Evercade that was maybe even natively plays. I don't know if that would work. I don't know if they could do that. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe you have to have it a little dongle adapter to put in there or something, but either way, it'd be great to see wireless controllers with Evercade. We're in 2023 here, folks. I think it's not totally unreasonable to think that people might play games from their couch and maybe don't want that wire, you know? Like I have a two-year-old daughter and you know something, what's great about wireless controllers, she can't pull on those controllers and pull the whole system, you know, off the, you know, place it's being held on. So yeah, I would love to see wireless controllers specifically made for Evercade. That's all the time I have for today. What are your thoughts? What do you think you would like to see from Blaze to do with Evercade in 2024? Comment below, love to hear what you have to say. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks. Bye.